This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Fresh Books. Stay fresh to death. Today on Film Ride, we get tiny and do some color grading. Hey, Josh. How'd you recognize me? Oh, because of the disguise? Yeah. It's just glasses, though. Works for Superman. Whose package? Sounds like you're talking about a wiener. I'm talking about the box. Because he said package. Who's it addressed to? The house. What? It says Film Riot House. I'm not sure how a house is supposed to open a box. I think it's referring to everybody in the house. It doesn't even have hands. OK, I'm going to open it. I think that'd be best. Hey guys! What? It's a little tamale package. What? How? That's something I'm talking about, a wiener. Surprise! Tim's wiener to be exact. What? What? What happened to you? Why are you tiny? I wanted to visit you guys. That doesn't answer anything. Do you recognize me? No. Have we met before? Oh, sweet disguise. Thanks, bro. Ryan said package earlier. Why are you tiny? So I could fit in the box. Listen, did another package come for me? Oh, no. Yes, actually. Came yesterday. I'll get it. Why are you tiny? So you in the box. You said that already. So why are you asking again? Why do you need to fit the box? Well, so can come visit you guys. Why don't you just take a flight? A flight this time of year? It's too expensive, you hoity-toity butthole. Oh, what? Here it is. Nice. Open that up for me, will you? That was mean. You guys! Timmy! <laughs> Mr. Timmy, it's good to be back. Logo. Welcome to Film Riot. What up, pimp? What up, pimp? Kill you for being so attractive. So today we're rolling up our sleeves and answering this email that was emailed to me to my email. I'm wanting to do a short film where a character is very tiny and inside a box. I've tried a few things, but it never looks right. Can you show how you would do it? Nope. I was just kidding about the nope. Hey look, it's Tim in a box. There are a few ways I would do this, but for me, the most effective is by using green screen because we all know how I feel about green screen. I love it. So I toss my chroma pop on the ground, which sounds like a dance move. And a feeling of spring in the air. But it's not, it's this. A pop out filter, which I have shown you guys on the show before, but in case you don't remember, here is where I got mine right here. So visit this site and buy yours if you want it. But now with it on the floor, I took my camera to the second story of my house so that I could get a top down shot of Tim to match the one I will be getting of our box later. Then I had Tim stand on the green screen and read his lines to the left and right of the camera as if he were talking to giants. Surprise! Now with all his lines shot, I will grab a box and shoot it as close to the same angle as I shot Tim. This will be a lockdown shot that I will let sit for a while. But now with these loverly ladies shot in the face with my camera, I bring my footage in After Effects and place a shot of Tim on top in the shot of the box below that. Now I will mask my image to make everything else go bye-bye except for Tim on the green screen. Then I will key my footage, which to learn more about uh, green screening, keying your footage and whatnot, check out this episode right here. We go into it in pretty good depth. So now with my footage keyed, I scale and position it to fit in the box and I am still unhappy with what I have. It really doesn't feel like Tim is in the box. So to help sell this effect, I will do two things, both of which will have him interacting with his environment. Wow, 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 wow. So first I will move Tim down until his feet are on top of this box lid type area thing a bit. Then I will duplicate the box footage, move it to the top of the comp and now mask around the top lid area. And now I have this layer 
over Tim's feet, which has him reacting with the box just a bit more to help sell the idea that he is actually there. The second thing is shadows, which are always one of the number one things missing in most newbie composites. Shadows are a huge component to help sell the idea that what you are compositing into your scene is actually there. Honestly, we're all just bursting with excitement. So I will duplicate Tim's footage, place it below the main Tim layer, add a leveler so I could then black out the footage, then add blur. Now I will rotate this one and elongate it a bit to make it seem like it is on the floor of the box and mask then feather to make it fit. Now I will create another shadow layer this same way, but this time position it on the back of the box. I notice there's this bit of light here that's making its way over the top of the lid of the box and onto the back of the wall of the box, back wall of the boxy box, box area. Man. <laughs> so I position that new shadow layer in that area, stretch it to fit a bit, then mask out, starting with that line of the shadow on the box. And now, with just those small additions, the effect is a lot more convincing. Now I have to say, I'm not fully satisfied with how this came out. We had to shoot fast and Tim was just visiting for this little short amount of time and I, I messed up the lighting a little bit. For me, the composite still doesn't work fully because the lighting isn't matched perfectly, so make sure you are taking extra care to match your light. Kick him out, he's a boy. But to recap, step one, get yourself a box. Step two, act out being in the box. Step three, composite Tim into box. And that's your Tim in a box. Sorry, I had to. A little reference to the words. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, Ars. Hey, what's up, man? What are you doing? I'm trying to light the grill, but I think it's out of gas. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, th I think I got you. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem, dude. Any any time. Is that a uh, is that a fillet? It's like a ten ounce fillet, like Colby or something. It's a hot dog. No, yeah, it's uh, the looks good. It looks real good. Weather. caught me using FreshBooks. Now what's FreshBooks, you might ask me? Let me explain it to you like this. If you're a creative or have your own business of any kind, you're gonna have to do invoices, right? Well, FreshBooks is a company that helps you cut down considerably what it takes to do that corporate portion of your business. Get your invoices done and get you paid much faster with their online invoicing service. It's fresher than fresh air. As you know, I've been using FreshBooks and I love it. I even threw out my old invoicing service. And the best thing about FreshBooks is how professional it makes you look from its presentation to the functionality of using PayPal to accept online payments. It's fresher than an apple. For us small business owners, appearance is everything. And the best thing about FreshBooks is right now you can try it completely free. No limitations, all the features, totally free. So jump over, try it out, and don't just don't just look at it. Actually send an invoice. If you invoice with FreshBooks, my friends, you won't go back. And when you do sign up with FreshBooks, make sure you tell them that Film Riot sent you. It's fresh to death. Logo. Okay, as promised in the last episode, I am going to go over how I color graded this sketch. Bring it up! The reason I'm going to show you this is because I had to grade this insanely fast. I graded the entire short, I think in about 15 or 20 minutes, I was on a tight, tight deadline and needed to crack it out quick. So I used Red Giant's Mojo, which is basically a dummy proof way of getting a great grade. So if I grab a shot from the sketch and drop Mojo on it, you'll quickly see how simplistic the controls are for this. So simplistic that when I first saw it, I didn't really think there was gonna be much that I could get out of it but that is not the case. And if I toggle on and off the effect, just from putting it on, you can see that there's already a big difference before I've even touched the controls. But let's see what else we can do. First, you have the Mojo selection. This will add more or less of that Mojo sex appeal, which can be better explained like this. you have 
have tint, which will shift the hue of what Mojo is doing, then balance, this is letting Mojo know how much it should consider the shadows or the highlights. If I crank one way, it will take my balance more cold, and the other, it will go more warm. And speaking of warm, that is where we're going next. This will take your overall image either to a more warmer color or a more colder color. And it does a really fantastic job of it too. Does it look, like, a little bit. Does yeah. it look like a rap video? It does. Yo, yo. Then moving down again, there is Punch It, which will increase your contrast or decrease it like so. Then under that, we have Bleach It. This will desaturate your clip or saturate your clip depending on which direction you send it in. And that covers the coloring section. But there is one more section and that is the skin section. Here I can refine the skin tone that Mojo has automatically found in my shot, which is also very awesome. Oh, that's a little zipper. What? Now I don't use this one too often. I'm not a big fan of plugins that feel like they do all the work for me. I prefer having the options and all the control of something like Magic Bullet, Look, Speed Grade, or Color. But there has been several occasions, including this sketch, when I just did not have the time to refine my image with those applications. And Mojo really saved my life. And the best part about Mojo is that it's only 50 bucks. So for me, this is definitely a good one, one that you can have at your disposal and get really, really good looks out of. But that is all and that is done and what have you. I'm outie like a belly button on a gymnast and I'll see you crazy kids next week when I fight crime in a leather jacket while chatting with my car. You have to go so soon? Yeah, I gotta uh, get back to the full-time job. Your job? Yeah, I'm a plumber now. After Ron kicked me out of film right, I had to make ends meet, so I got a job. I'm blue collar now. It's a t-shirt. Huh? You don't have a collar. Okay. I don't like Ryan. There, I said it. Kick me in the package. Which? My actual package. The one God delivered? Yep. Really? As hard as you can. Oh, heck to the yeah. Level 10, baby. Level 10! <laughs> you okay, Tim? Yep, just close me up and ship me out. Okay, bye, Tim. Safe journeys. Oh. <laughs> I saw, I was like, I see what he's doing. <laughs> Welcome back to Film Rights. <laughs> Welcome back to Film Rights.